Hey, welcome to another episode of Legion Elite Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And today, we're going to do the remaining uh, polishing for the SHP wheels, including a couple of other things. But, let's dive in. Okay, so we are about to dive deep on finishing up the polishing on these wheels. Um, I got a couple different grits of sandpaper that has to be applied, as you can see here. Still didn't get that clear coat off, so I gotta keep it that. But, um, also, before we get started, um, in the last episode, uh, I showed you the center console for the uh, Starion, silver one, right here. Oh, there we go, focus. Um, so for the silver one here, and um, basically I completely redid it. So if we look here, it is all one tone. Um, geez, hold on one second. There we go, completely one tone. And she's looking good, a little dusty, but dust kind of builds up quick around here. There we go, you can see where I repaired it. I'm thinking about blacking that out separately, but this is definitely a good start. So I will be able to uh, install this soon. As soon as I get the uh, shifter boot that I like, the current one I have is the bag style. I like the accordion style. And I had one around here, I just couldn't find it. But anyway, I have some other news besides this. Let me show you what that is. Alrighty, and here as you can see it, I took the intake and exhaust manifold off and had them both resurface. So now both of these are true flat and uh, ready to go back on the party. Everything is looking great, as you can see here. Uh, completely machined. I'm gonna take some uh, alcohol, rub these down, make sure all of the fingerprints and everything is off of it, and kind of take it from there. But she is completely flat, finally, after all this time. So now we'll be uh, making some more consistent power, which is gonna be great. Alrighty, that is the last piece that I wanted to show you guys before we begin polishing up these wheels. Okay, so we have some microfiber cloth. Um, we have 400 grit, 1000 grit, and 2000 grit. So, and we also have a, a thousand uh, sponge style. So we are going to start with the 400 grit. We actually uh, previously were using 360 grit. So that's, that's a little heavier. Um, we're gonna take out any uh, imperfections with this one right here. And then um, after that, we'll begin the actual polishing, which will be the 1000 grit all the way to 2000. And then we're gonna use a polishing compound including some polishing pads, which you can get from uh, Amazon or whatnot. We got a couple different shapes here to get into all the nooks and crevices. And then I think what I am missing, but I'm gonna go to the store in just a second, is the polishing compound. I'll probably end up using Mother's uh, Wheel Mag Polish, something of that sort. And that's gonna be, of course, once we get to it. So. Um, I'm going to use the 300 and I'm going to use a palm sander, which let me grab that. Okay, we got the palm sander. So now we're going to take the 400 grit. We're going to uh, put it on the palm sander. This whole palm sander thing is going to be to clean up the face of the wheel. And then we're going to take another 400 grit and finish up the lip of the wheel. So, let's begin. Okay, here we go. Look how quick that is with the palm sander. 
One of the reasons why we're using it is uh, pretty much speed, consistency, and uh, finish. So we're gonna do that to the rest of these spokes, get them all polished up. And we're gonna come back and see what it looks like. Okay, this is what she looks like now. Basically what that does is hammer out the heavier imperfections, which is fine. And now we're gonna go at it by hand. Okay, so on the face, you wanna keep uh, even strokes across the whole thing and you wanna make sure you go one direction. So for me, I'm gonna go this way with it. And same deal here, same deal here. And then of course, this you wanna go this way until it's complete. So I'm gonna take this and get to work. Okay, there we go. That is the 400 grit. Now we're moving up to a thousand, cut them into little sheets, and now we're gonna begin to polish. After this one, you're gonna start to see more of the uh, rim that's gonna come to a shine. You can see some here, barely, but trust me, it's gonna come out really nice. So we're gonna keep at it and we're gonna see what we got after. Okay, so this has been going over with a thousand grit and you can tell the difference. We're starting to get some shine through there. And now we're gonna go over it with 2000 and then we're gonna polish. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, so this is with um, 2000 grit just on the face. And I don't know if you could feel this, of course not, but uh, it is smooth like glass. So that is ready to polish in general, but we're gonna go ahead and go over this lip with the 2000 grit and then we're gonna get the uh, polishing compound and take it from there. Okay, so uh, now we're about to polish, got everything set up and ready to go. Uh, not sponsored or anything like that by Mothers, it just so happens to be one of the items I use. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it. Yep, wrong way. Just did a little sample so you can see that mirror shine in there. Of course, I gotta dig deep, but that is what she's gonna look like when we're all said and done. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep going and uh, let's see what we got after a couple, uh, couple strokes. Well, this must be why they say there's no shine like mothers. This doesn't even wipe down. That's, that's just impressive. From that to this, look, just, would you look at it? That's, that's just, ah, uh, that's great. That's great. So yeah, more polishing coming up. Alrighty, so, um, the light isn't doing it any justice, but if you look at these in person, 
flat out amazing, uh, especially this area. Alrighty. Yep, not doing it any justice. All right, so let's move up to this part. Now we still have a long way to go, but just looking at the difference from here to here as night and day, just be beautiful, beautiful. All right. And again, um, you know, this lighting doesn't really justify what it really looks like in person, but at least you get a good idea. Once I'm done with this uh, wheel, I'm going to compare it to the other ones and we can kind of take it from there. Still got a little bit more to go right up in this area. So let's keep polishing. And as you can see, the finished product versus the not finished product. So that looks excellent. Um, yeah, it looks, looks really good. Um, got a couple areas on this wheel I can probably clean up, but... <laughs> I'd say it roughly takes about, uh, with the tools and stuff that I have out, mm, roughly about an hour per wheel as being optimistic, but about an hour, hour and a half per wheel. So if you were to do a set like these, uh, call it four hours. So I figure I'll probably do probably one per day uh, until it's all complete and then come back to it and show you guys the full set of everything all polished and cleaned up. But for right now, I think we're gonna stop here. It's uh, pretty late, pretty rainy, and um, got a couple other things to do. So um, definitely let me know what you think down in the comments. I think it came out spectacular. Um, again, pictures don't really justify, but it's pretty close, I would say. Not too bad. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if there are any ways that you can shorten this or, you know, um, maybe lengthen it to get a different type of shine, maybe. But in general, looks perfect. And with that being said, we're going to call it an episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. But if you enjoyed the video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Until then, I will see you guys next time. And remember, knowledge is power.